Where would... enough side cards to make a new side challenge marker. to burn down the asylum. Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. Excuse me. Ma'am, but did you see a girl? You must be my new leading man. Aren't you handsome? But, my gracious, you're so young. Tell me why do they keep casting me with such mere babes? I guess that's the curse of having an eternally young face. Oh, you found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey! What? You're supposed to be dead! Ah! Oh, if you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. Trying to produce a play here? Uh, no. Oh, God. Even a child can see I've lost control of this production. Okay, Becky. Get a grip. Child? Look, kid. It wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Uh oh. Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Benita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. You can get Benita to take the stage again. Then you're the star of my show, kid.
Looks like it needs a candle to work. I guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Got it! Suitcase tag. That's what I need here. I guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Huh. 
Control there, Becky? Ah! Why did you say that? What have you heard? <laughs> Suitcase tag. That's what I need here. <laughs> Maybe I should come back later when he's not sleeping. He looks too mean to wake up. a good grip. Soleil, I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage? For the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work. But you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now where was I? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Soleil is about to take the stage. Flower girls in position one. And action! Tonight I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the famous actress. In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical, Sunshine Shenanigans! be without her muse. Her inner sunshine. The spirit of her youth. Play tonight once again by Bonita Soleil. Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me. Not again. <gasps> the Phantom. I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace! And it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Or worse. Improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole story. I should go give her a piece of my mind. youth and fame, 
Though my star has risen so much faster and grown so much bigger than that of yours, which has so quickly faded. Yes! Huzzah, forsooth! What is thine sweet smell in the air? Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty. Rejoice, for spring has besatten upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a lingering! boat ain't coming for you, girly. The mail boat may never come, but I think I see the mail train approach it through yon tunnel. Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. A dragon? Ah! Ha ha ha! Tis a dragon indeed. You have been fooled and burned. Outstanding. 